Welcome everybody. Welcome to Back to Better, like Chris Ciccinelli says. Back to in-person partying. So we're gonna chat a little bit about that and then we're gonna chat about ordering or rather smart ordering because there is a difference. I'm Cheryl Crompton. I just celebrated my 15th anniversary in my business and I am in love with it even more now than when I first started. A little bit about myself. I have a husband, two children, two dogs and one cat. Um, I do have a part-time job outside of my business and I'm a director of a childcare center. All right, so now that things are starting to open up a little bit, let's talk about partying in person again. Or for some of you, it might be partying for the very first time in person. But now we're going to talk about partying with COVID protocol safeties and COVID safety protocols in mind. I kind of wanted to start off with a little bit about uh, addressing your thoughts and your feelings. So are you feeling nervous, scared, excited, relieved, unsure, glad, indifferent? Maybe you're feeling some of those things. Maybe you're feeling none of those things. Maybe you're just like, I'm just ready to get going, ready. To, I'm super excited to get back to partying or to try it out for the first time. You're not alone in your feelings and your thoughts and it is okay. If you're feeling nervous, scared, unsure, other people are gonna feel the same way as well. So start off by recognizing how you feel. Acknowledge it, state it out loud, figure out what you can do uh, to overcome it. Usually by being prepared for the unknown is the best way to start. So remember, if however you're feeling, your team members might be feeling the same way or your guests or your hostesses, um, but they also might be feeling the opposite. So we just need to be really, really cognizant in this day and age um, that about people's feelings and their thoughts. Some people might show it and some people might not. If you are feeling a little bit jittery, a little bit nervous, um, or your hostess might be, or your guests might be, the best way to overcome that is for you to be prepared. So you're gonna run through the party in your mind. You're gonna run through the party maybe um, in your real life, in your office or your living room. Think about all the things you can do to keep yourself safe and to keep others safe. Gather those supplies ahead of time, pack them up in your kit, get them ready to take to a party. What do you need? Grab a paper, grab a pen, take some notes as we go along. Keep in mind though that these suggestions may all change in a week, two weeks, or in a couple of months. They are just suggestions for right now, knowing that the restrictions are easing, but many precautions are still being taken. So some of the things you need to also keep in mind are the restrictions um, or regulations in your province, in your town or city or in your area. But you also need to take into consideration your comfort level and the comfort level of your hostess and guests. Preparation is key. Be sure your hostess is aware and has made the guests aware that if anybody is feeling ill, that they kindly please stay home. It may be helpful to print off your, the province's COVID symptom screening questions, um, send it to her an email, or you can post it in your group or in your event. Um, and we just have a brief note saying that for the safety of everybody attending, please stay home and you'll be glad to chat with them afterwards. If you can, um, perhaps do the live part or do a live party right in the group or in the event. You can, you can video it live. Um, have her join. Um, have her, oops, sorry, I don't know what popped up there. Uh, you can have the hostess um, have one or two people on a video chat um, on Facebook and have them join in on the event as well. You can perhaps, if you know ahead of time that some people aren't going to be there, maybe set up a Zoom link and have them join through Zoom and then always chat with them later, see how you can help them out, place their orders. Oh, I, I said, you know what, this is actually having COVID actually has helped us open up our business in so many different ways because you can now, and people are, are, are good at adapting. So you can even have people from out of town, um, out of province guests join in on the, on the live party in the VIP or in your um, event or in your group. We never really did that before. And now it's like so common. So it's great for out of town guests as well. All right, masks. Should you or shouldn't you wear them? First off, remember, is it regulation to wear them? 
if it's not regulation that you have to wear them, but you feel more comfortable wearing them, then by all means, go for it. If you don't have to wear it because of the regulations and you are more comfortable not wearing a mask, I would still suggest you wear a mask to your hostess's house. Just have it on. When you get there, if you notice that her and the other guests are not wearing masks, ask her if it's okay if you remove yours. Um, probably she'll say yes. She might say no, and that's okay. But this just shows that you are doing your best to keep the uh, put the guests at ease, the hostess at ease, and you're doing everything you can to make sure everybody is being safe. But remember, you are working. So you want a mask that is professional. It might be funny if you wear it, walk in wearing like an animal print mask, like a cat mask or a mouse mask, but it's not very professional. So just keep that in mind. Also, as handshakes are out right now, because of safety, we want to make sure that all the guests um, are being seen, all right? You want to make sure that they feel special. So be sure you greet them, introduce yourself, ask for their names, make great eye contact with them. A handshake before you used to do that, but now we can't do that. So now we have to make sure that we are using our eyes, our voice um, to make sure everybody is feeling welcome. So once you're in the house and you ask the hostess where you'll be seating, uh, or sorry, where, where you'll be setting up your products um, or your display, leave your stuff there, go to the bathroom, wash your hands, um, ask her where the washroom is, and then wash your hands. This lets the hostess know that you're taking all the precautions that you can um, at, at, at the party. Go back, set up your products, and then ask her again where the consultation room will be. She'll take you there and then kind of figure out, say, you just want to check out how the seating is going to be to make sure that you're six feet apart. So it's okay to ask her for an extra chair. If maybe she has, um, she was just going to set you on the bed. So, you know, one person on each side of the bed, ask if you can bring a chair in. The, the guests can sit on the bed. You'll sit on a chair six feet away. That's okay. Now, back to when you're doing your present presentation, you are normally about six feet away, normally from the rest of the guests, right? Um, you may not need a mask then, but you might be more comfortable having something, um, a barrier. So maybe bring face shields with you. Um, put a face shield on, that way they get to see your eyes, they get to see your lovely smile, they get to see your engagement. And on the face shields, you can bling it up a little bit, put a little bit of put bling on the top or put a little heart on them or something just to make it fun, right? Um, and that's okay. Oh, I already said this. Maintain a six foot um, in the consultation room. You want to make sure that your, your seating is kind of six feet apart. So we're going to talk about lap boards now. Before, if you did parties in person before, you would normally bring lap boards or some sort of lap board that you would collect back afterwards and, and reuse them. So now, for right now, you're not going to do that. For right now, you're going to do one-time use only lap boards. So I found these ones. They are just like two-fold ones. Um, you can get them at Walmart for, they were 10 cents each. Some, some of them are on sale for seven cents each. Come August and September, they're going to be on sale for like five, maybe more or maybe cheaper, I don't know. Um, so you can do like one party for, for a dollar, right? Have 10 lap boards for, um, for one party. So um, lap boards like um, will make the guests feel easier or more at ease because they know that um, nobody else has touched their lap boards before and whatever's in there, they can take home with them. So what you can put in the lap boards are or you can put a catalog if you want to bring catalogs. You can put any sales or promotions that you have. You can put the order form if you use order forms. Um, put a pin in there, your business card. You can even put um, um, a party menu if you want to use a party menu. Whatever you want your guests to have, um, put it in the lap board. Before you give it to them, though, you're going to ask them what their name is. Hi, I'm Cheryl. If we haven't met before, what's your name? And Jane. All right, Jane, thank you so much. It's great to meet you. And then you put their name on their lap board on the outside of their folder because they're going to keep it. You're going to hand it to them. That's going to help you remember their name as well. If you're using catalogs, keep in mind they're like a business card. People will probably keep them nine times out of ten. Um, so make sure that they're stamped on the back of them. If you're not going to use catalogs, if you choose not to and you want to go virtual, then 
at the beginning of the party or as people are walking in, ask them for their, for their cell numbers um, or ask them to text you their cell numbers and then you're gonna send them the flip book so they have it virtual. Um, a, a, con a contactless, right? Um, they have their virtual catalog right there in front of them. Um, if you are going to use pens, or you need to use pens when you bring to the party, if you're going to use um, pens that you got from the dollar store or staples, you might want to collect them afterwards. So just bring a bag um, and a napkin. So you're going to go around after the presentation, you're going to go around, collect everybody's pens, pop it back in your bag, and then you can discard the napkin. When you get home, you can either wipe, put gloves on, and you can even either wipe them off or just wash them off and then set them to dry. But why not hand out one more piece of information that has your information or one more piece that has your information on them? Order pens. I got pens from Perfect Pen Stationery and it literally cost uh, pennies more per pen than buying the nicer pens at Staples. So, um, and then that way they'll take it home. You don't have to collect them afterwards. And then they're, they have your information on them. All right. And they're, it's actually not that expensive. I think I got I want to say 750 pens for like under $200. So instead of using a catalog, you can also use a party menu. This is just a sample party menu. Um, this is so a party menu is where you're going to put all the products on there that you show and um, you're going to itemize each each uh, each product that you show. Um, and then they are going to use it like their wish list, so they can check it off as you go through the presentation that the products that they want. Then they're going to bring that into the into the consultation room. That's what they're going to use to help place their orders. So they're going to say, "I want that and that and that and that and that," or "I start all the ones that I really really want," or "I'm going to take these ones, but I'm going to take those ones later." And then when they say later, you can say, "Great, do you want to set up your party?" and um, you could get that as one of your hostess gifts, or you're going to get that at a great discount for hosting your party. Um, so you can collect these afterwards if you have their contact information on them, or that can be their wish list that they could take home. However you want to set it up is totally up to you. So collecting your client's information. Collecting your client's information can be done through the Connect cards. Um, so the connect cards are the let's connect they're in the catalog so if you're going to handle catalogs you can have them rip them off fill them in and then collect them afterwards they can just pop them in a folder for you or if you choose to use the flip book and not use catalogs you can actually order these from the COO or you can make up your own version if you want um, it's totally up to you or you can use Google Forms and go totally paperless, totally contactless. So then you're going to send them the link to the Google Forms if you haven't already, and then they can fill it all in. Right? Easy, simple. You choose whatever works best for you and however you want. These are just some options. All right. So the prep work before the party is all done. Okay. Now for the party. So sanitizer, hand sanitizer. As you begin your presentation, you're going to say to everybody, is it okay? I just want to make sure that I'm following all the right protocols, um, making sure everybody is safe. Can I put some hand sanitizer on you? And then you're going to walk around and pop some hand sanitizer on everybody. If they want it, they'll hold out their hands. If they don't want it, they'll put their hands away. And as you come by, they might shake their hands, their head, or you can go, and then they'll go. And then, and that's okay. Um, chances are, if they are that nervous about putting anything like that on them, they would have washed their hands already. So just keep that in mind. But because you're not passing around products, like, you're, like before we used to pass around everything, right? Because you're not doing that now, it's not as vital to use hand sanitizer. If you want to for your own safety and your own comfort level, then that's fine. You do you. All right, so for the products that the guests are going to be sampling, you will need to put them on individual testers. Um, and then hand out to everybody. So at the beginning of the presentation, you're gonna hand out a napkin to everybody. That way, when they've done their testing, they can put their testers that they used um, on a napkin. They can take it afterwards and throw it in the garbage. Different options for product testing. You can get the spatulas, um, in, those white spatulas there. You can get them in the, um, in the COO under business supplies. They're $4 for 50 of them. You can get toothpicks. Um, those flat-ended toothpicks, and then they have pointy on one side, and then they're flat on the other. Those are 
perfect for a lot of our sampling. Um, you can get coffee stir sticks or the plastic coffee stir sticks. Um, or you can get like small little popsicle sticks, whatever you want, whatever the dollar store has great options for these, whatever you choose, make sure you bring lots to your party, always have them kind of tucked away so you have extras. You're going to need about six to eight per person. So if you have 10 people, that's 80, bring 100 just in case, right? Um, if somebody, so as you're talking about the, pro the products, um, you're going to talk about them and then you're going to be um, putting this, the products on the sample sticks and then passing them around. Keep talking and pass them all around. If you have somebody that says, hey, can I help you? It's like, oh, absolutely. Can I put a little bit of hand sanitizer on? So you can put hand sanitizer on if you haven't already. Um, they may want choose to go wash their hands and either or, one of them has to be done. So either or. And then they're gonna, they can come around and they can hand out to everybody. Or you can actually ask for somebody to help you. And that's okay too. Perhaps they um, ask ahead of time, perhaps the hostess would be the best one for this. Um, but make sure that you bring something, a little gift for them afterwards, right? So you can give them a little piece, piece of paper that says, thank you for so much for all your help. Um, you get whatever percent off on an, on an item, or you can bring a little baggie with some samples in there and have it done up nicely in a bow, whatever you want, but you, you should show your appreciation and, and give her a little gift. I always keep little sample gifts in little baggies or something um, wrapped up so that I can, I have them for multiple reasons. So as we're trying to limit the amount of products being sampled, um, here are just a few suggestions that you could, you could use. Um, you could use the, uh, the um, body, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the picture. I should be looking at my notes. Uh, you can use it. The Chafe Escape is a great one. You're going to put it on and then they can rub it in and they can see how it dries. The Nourishing Body Lotion, you don't necessarily have to put that on a tester. You can actually just pump it on everybody's hand. They're going to love it, especially if they had sanitizer on. They're going to love to have the Nourishing Body Lotion on. They will feel the luxury and they'll be able to smell it. They will, because sometimes those hand, hand sanitizers smell a lot like tequila. I don't know about you guys, but that's what mine smells like. Um, you bosom buddy is a great one. Toothpicks are a great one for that. Um, you just get a little bit on and then pass it around. Sensations, whipped, the just like me, or the euphor euphoria water-based lubricant. Um, body do is a great one to just spray on everybody, spray on their arm or their leg or a tattoo, or just on a couple people or maybe one person. Keep in mind, um, Ask before you try anything on anybody, make sure that you um, ask them if they have any allergens, especially the body do because of the coconut um, and the almond in there. Um, all right, so those products are super, super, super important to, to show, but um, all the products are that you, that you talk about are really, really, really important, but they don't necessarily have to try the coochie cream, right? Um, if you are very passionate about some products, then, then sample those. I'm really passionate about passionate about my body boost. Like I use that stuff every single day. I said it gets rid of my laugh lines because <laughs> I have, you know, uh, I've been married for how many? 20 something years. So I've got laugh lines. Um, so it gets rid of them all. So I might want to try them to try it. I want, might want them to feel the luxury of the products. So I might want them to feel um, the, that it does have a light, light, light scent to it, but it's not going to bother them. Um, some people might not show the sensations at a party, so then that they might not use that one, or they might want to make sure that their um, their customers try the Healy massage lotion. Whatever you want to show, you decide. Just make sure you decide it ahead of time. You can even write, um, put a little sticker on the back saying "sample," so that you know when that when you're talking about that product, that is the one you're going to sample, so that you don't um, pat, or, you know, um, get carried away and let them sample the first eight of them, and then you ran out of sticks. All right, did I miss anything? I don't think so. All right, so now toys. Should you, shouldn't you, should you, shouldn't you? Um, if you choose to, here, here's just a few suggestions. You can walk around the room, um, take a toy, try it on everybody's hand, on the outside of their hand, between each person, wipe it off with a wet one, all right? And then, um, or you can choose to just do two toys, and then try on everybody's hand, or you can just try one person, maybe the hostess, and try them all on that person's hand, or you can maybe try all of them on the 
people's shoulders that you're not touching their skin, you're touching their shoulders so they can try it. Or just a couple. It's totally up to you. Whatever you choose to do, just stick with it. All right. Just make a decision and go with it. It's going to be okay. Bring them all into the order room, into the consultation room. And if somebody wants to try a certain toy, certain vibration, then by all means. And then um, as you're chatting about it afterwards, you can easily wipe it off and put it back in your kit. All right. I hope that makes sense about the toys. Now, sometimes if you, um, if you were, if you're back to doing parties again, so you used to do parties before, you might have taken a break in your party somewhere. I might suggest not doing that now because when you take a break, that's the time where everybody is going to be um, drinking a lot more or eating or snacking and that kind of thing. So that's when the chance for more um, transmission is going to happen. So maybe don't take a break, go all the way through, and then that way the guests will um, eat or drink a lot more afterwards. Okay, does that make sense? Your hostess now, or you might even still suggest it, but your hostess might ask what she should serve. And you can let her know that the best things to serve are not finger foods, um, not foods that they're gonna um, eat with their fingers, but maybe something on a plate or um, pre-packaged foods that they just take their own bag of chips or whatever. Um, so there's less transmission um, and less like pot lucky stuff. Um, and then the best things for, but again, you don't have to have food at a party to make it a fun party. We are the fun party. You don't have to have food there. Uh, for refreshments, maybe have them bring their own or cans or bottles are the best things to have. All right. So now the presentation is done. Yay, you're back to in-person parties. So you've done it for the first time. Congratulations. Now we're into the consultation room. Like I had said before, you're going to, when you go into the consultation room at the very beginning, before you even start your party, you're going to, you ha already have it arranged. So you know that you're going to be about six feet apart. If you choose to put your mask on now, cause you're more one-on-one, -on -one, you're talking closer um, in proximity, you can, or you can put a face shield on now, whatever you choose to do, it's up to you. But when you're taking payment, um, e-transfer is so widely used right now. Um, e-transfer is the best way. Um, or you can, if you have um, the swipe for the square, you can use a swipe. Um, contactless, if they happen to touch it, wipe it off afterwards. If you have the debit square, you can, and they have to insert it or they have to use your, your phone um, to input all that information, then just wipe it off afterwards. You can even bring Lysol wipes for that. Totally up to you. Wet ones work fine. Um, or you can do totally contactless and you can send them a square invoice and then that way they're paying for it on their phone with their credit card. Amber Taylor is going to be talking about that later. So no worries if she hasn't already. I'm not sure where in uh, where she is in this um, in, in our lineup. All right. So new accessories to bring to your party that we've never had to bring before. A mask, a face shield, sanitizer, marker to write on the outside of their lap boards, wet ones or Lysol wipes, it's totally up to you. Um, toothpicks, spatulas, stir sticks, whatever you wanna use. Um, the new folders, the new one-time folders, a baggie um, to put your pens in afterwards, right? You're gonna walk around with a napkin, collect all the pens. Um, napkins for everybody, a small gift for your helper, the folder to put the connection cards in afterwards. I forgot about that earlier. So when you they do bring the connection cards into the consultation room and you're gonna collect them afterwards, you can just pop them, have them pop it into your folder. And then when you get home, then you can put either gloves on or you can, um, you know, once you input the information, wash your hands afterwards, whatever. Totally, again, safety. All right, does that make sense? So now we're almost at ordering. So having products on hand is perfect um, so that you can give your guests their orders immediately. I have been doing this all my 15 years of in the business and I would never not do this. So um, give the guests their, their orders at the party, more it's contactless afterwards. If you need to order products in, then you have a few options. You can either drop ship to your customers on your customer facing website, be sure to charge your shipping accordingly, you can deliver them back to the hostess, all the, all the orders back to the hostess, and then she can disperse them to her guests or her customers. Um, you can arrange for people to pick them up from you, or you can arrange to meet, or you can arrange for drop-off. Lots of different options. 
Um, you just need to assess what is easiest and more convenient for you and for your guests and obviously what's more cost effective. Um, when I do deliveries, I leave them either in the mailbox or on the front porch, but I always let them know ahead of time approximately what time I'm going to be there. So they might say, you know, just put it here or put it here. So whatever they tell me to do, that, that's what I follow. And I will put it in their mailbox. I'll take a picture and then I text it to them or Facebook message them. And it's like, here it is, go and look, or here it is. It'll be ready for you when you get home, kind of whatever, right? Um, but take a picture and then send it to them. That way they know that you've delivered it. If you're delivering three or four or more orders back to the hostess, then just make sure that you do have a preset time that she's going to be there so you can hand off the products to her or put them on her doorstep and, and say, all right, your package is delivered, whatever you want. Okay, let's talk ordering or rather smart ordering. So wouldn't it be great if you could have like all the products on hand to hand to your customers, right? We just talked about that. that would, that's such a great feeling. Well, you actually can for the most part. Um, all it takes is a little bit of knowledge what you sell. It takes a little bit of smart ordering and it takes just a little bit of invest, investment. So smart ordering is based on a few key points. Know your sale dates, know your sale date times, know your buying discount, no six packs, know your shipping, check twice, click once. Okay, so ordering on sale dates. Always order on a sale date. The majority of time, Corp has sales on weekends and, uh, and Wednesdays, but they might have a sale on a Tuesday or a Thursday. You never know, don't always bank on it. Sales are a gift to us, so um, it's not mandatory. Okay. But for the most part, they usually have them on the weekends and they usually have them on Wednesdays. Um, sale might be a higher buying discount. It might be a percentage off. You might need to reach certain sales thresholds in order to get those percentages off. Um, it might be free product or it might be something added to your order. Um, so it's not always the same thing. So you just need to be aware. Um, keep in mind, there usually isn't a sale at the end of the month, like the last day of the month. Usually, sometimes they surprised us and pop an extra one in. Um, sometimes it might end a sale early. So if sales normally go from Friday at noon or Friday, whatever, until Sunday at midnight, sometimes they end at 11 o'clock last weekend, it was 11 a.m. So just be cognizant of that. You need to read your email thoroughly. People have been known to forget or people have been known to not read their mails, emails thoroughly and have missed a huge sale. Just saying, read your emails. All right, six packs. So six packs have different meanings for different people. To bakers, it might be buns. To florists, it might be flowers. <laughs> to other people, it might be other things. But to us, to Pure Men's Consultants, it is buying a six pack of products. So you're buying five products and you get the sixth one at 50% at off, all right? Um, so much of our liquid line does come in handy six packs. So please, please, please take advantage of it. That's what it's there for. Keep in mind when you do place your order, if you need five, um, five coochie creams in Dirty French, you're not gonna, or, or sorry, six coochie creams in Dirty French and think that's a six pack, you're not gonna put six um, under, under Coochie Cream Dirty French, you're going to put one under Coochie Cream Dirty French six pack. Okay. Make sure that you know exactly where you're putting it. Um, I just got to look to see if I forgot. Oh, oh, and ordering. Okay. So um, perhaps you have, um, you want to have like on kitchen cream, you want to have three cents of diva, um, dirty French and three cents of love story or two cents of dirty French, two cents of love story and two cents of sweet fantasy. Find sister consultants that can also order six packs and then just trade. Um, that's okay. That's a great way of having, um, lots of inventory and different, different choices for your customers. Keep in mind when you go to a party and somebody wants, dirty French um, coochie and you only have love story Capri and sweet fantasy, just like, absolutely. I can order you that dirty French. I'm, I apologize. I only have Capri 
love story, sweet fantasy. They're like, you know, I'll just take the sweet fantasy because I want that stuff now. Nine times out of 10, that will happen. All right. So just make sure you let them know that um, the sense that you have on hand. And like I said, switch up with um, sister consultants or somebody else on your team. All right. Let's talk shipping. Here's our shipping chart. Keep it handy when ordering. It may benefit you to add one or two or a few things to your order in order to reduce the shipping. So you might actually get those one or two things free um, because it will reduce your shipping. The prices of the shipping are after your discounts. So it pays, um, so the higher the discount, the sale discount, the cheaper your order, the cheaper your shipping and handling. So that's just another reason why it pays or rather why it saves to order on a sale date. You need to order on a sale date. Did I already tell you guys that? You need to order on a sale date. So this is gonna be a little bit wordy. I do apologize. I just want you to realize, um, I don't want you to get stuck up or hung up on shipping, all right? So here's just a couple shipping samples. Like I said, it's a bit wordy but I just want you, I, I want to stress how the average is so important. So you don't want to trip over dollars to save pennies. So say you placed a $400 order. A $400 order will cost you $36 in shipping. If you sell to four people um, and you charge them $9 per order, that is going to cover your, your shipping for that order, for that $400 order if everybody has about a hundred dollar order, right? So the shipping you collected will pay for that order. If you got took a $400 order and only two people placed an order, so you only collected $9. So then you're technically $18 in the negative for that order. That's okay. You could wait and get some more orders. You do not have to order as soon as somebody places an order with you. You can let them know, Thank you so much for, for placing an order. I'm super excited for you to get your products. I will be placing my next order on Sunday. I'll be placing my next order on Wednesday. I'll be placing my next order on whatever it is. All right, so just let them know that. Let them know the timeline. Um, and that way that gives you time to collect a little bit more orders to help reduce the shipping costs. Say you choose, it's your business, you choose. Say you choose to place that order. Um, and have a negative $18 in shipping. That's okay. Because what if the next time you placed a $1,040 order? That $1,040 order, depending on your buying discount and depending on whether they actually have a sale, right? Because if they have a sale, it's going to be even cheaper. That um, would $1,000, $1,040 order will cost you either $52 or $60 or less. Um, say you had 10 customers place that $1,000 order. So $100 each, right? You collected $90 from those 10 customers. It only cost you $52 or $60. You've made $30 or $38. Um, maybe only seven people placed an order um, to bring you to that $1,000, $1,040 order. You still collected $30, $63. So either way you're saving. So you may have paid a little bit extra one time, but another time you might collect a little bit more back. It's all about the averages. Like I said, do not trip over the dollars to save pennies, all right? Just, just know, just be in the know, be aware and, and be okay with yourself for doing that. All right. Be sure to always check your totals, um, know your totals, check them twice before you click submit once. So know what your shipping charges are, know what your threshold is, um, know what your sale date, when you place your sale dates, know what your sale date thresholds are, right? So that you are getting the best bang for your buck. Do not do this, do not do this. Please do not use Expedite or Express. It does not come any faster. I've used it a couple of times. It does not pay, it came in the same amount of time they charge you a lot more. So please just use regular. If you've had good experience with it, by all means, I'm just letting you know, it very, very, very rarely, I've never heard of it working, okay? 
But again, to save a little bit on shipping, what you might want to do is if you have a customer that's in dire need of something like they're going on a trip and it's like, and they're leaving tomorrow, they're leaving in two days. Um, awesome. You'll do your best to try to find the products for them. So what you could do is trade these. You could trade with a sister consultant or a team member, or maybe your upline. Um, you may have a team protocol for this. Please just follow it. Okay. These are just some suggestions from me. Um, so here's just a few guidelines to follow. So when you are trading, when you are making a trade with somebody, Hey Jane, I really, really, really need the, the body boost, the firming cream, the O and the, um, I don't know the shore thing. She's like, absolutely have all that stuff in stock. Great. What would you like for trade? So she tells you what you want. She wants for trade. So always keep popular items on hand just for that reason, just for trading. Um, if, if she says, you know what, whatever you have, and then again, give her the popular items. Don't give her something that is um, uh, like outdated, that, that isn't in the catalog anymore. If you have labels on your products and you're giving them to, to that person because that's what she wanted for a trade or that's what you're going to give her for the trade, um, if your labels are on them, it is your responsibility to please remove them, okay? Um, that's just the really nice thing to do. It's your responsibility for that. Now, I'm getting the products from Jane because I need them and she has them on hand. Um, if she has labels on her products, it is not up to her to remove them. It is really, really nice. It is really, really appreciated. And you'll be really, really grateful that she does, but it's not necessary. Um, it's not mandatory, especially if you're in a rush to pick them up and she just doesn't have time to, to remove them. That's okay. Would it be nice if she did? Absolutely. Would I try to do it? Absolutely. Um, if you have a team protocol regarding that and regarding labels, you need to follow it. Those are just some suggestions that I have. Um, if you are trading with somebody, it is your responsibility to go to her, get the trade from her. All right. It's not her responsibility to meet you or not her responsibility to um, take the time to mail them to you unless you guys have agreed on that. Um, it's your responsibility to go to her. Um, if she does happen to mail them to you, what I have done is I've actually paid for her shipping. All right. Because she's out that and I really wanted that product. Um, if you've had to order, if you are doing a trade with somebody and you don't have it on hand and they're, and they say, you know what, just get it, um, give it to me with your next order, please go into the COO, put it in your order so that the next time you place an order, it's there and you're not going to forget to order it. All right. And then you can get it to her in timely fashion afterwards. All right. When it comes to ordering maybe one or two things that you that need to be placed, like say from an order um, or from a customer, you can always place it on your e-commerce site or your customer facing website. Um, that will save a little bit, save you a little bit on shipping as well. You may earn a little bit lower uh, commission on that. So you just got to kind of be aware of the numbers. When you place an order on your e-commerce site, the shipping is $11.99 for the first, uh, $11.95 for the first three items and a dollar per item after that. Um, if you need to order just a few things for a party, you can, and, and you want to send it to your customers, that, that is the best way to do it. All right. When you're placing an order on the COO, please always, always, always remember, watch the sales in the, in the COO order section. Always, always, always check that tab. I think um, Matt just posted that he's putting something on there this weekend. I can't remember what it is, but I think he's, I think I saw that. So check that. Um, they don't usually announce it. So sometimes they just pop it in there and, um, and you can get great sales. You can get things that you can give as gifts to your hostesses or, cus or customers. You can get things that you can um, use for prizes that you can use in your flash sales whatever, always check that. And then when you're looking at it, think, could I use this? And what could I use this for? And then, and then you can always order a few. Be sure to always check business supplies. When you're going in the um, ordering it like this way, the way, the way that I have laid out right here, I think that I can't see it. I think that's called the, the category. Um, business supplies does not come up when you pull up 
all when you when you click all to see everything that they have in the catalog business supplies does not come in there all right so you do need to go on there click on there to see um to see what there is and then that might trigger oh yeah i needed more bags or oh yeah i forgot i needed catalogs or oh yeah i forgot i needed um order forms if you've already if, if you've already clicked submit, if you haven't checked twice and clicked once, if you've already clicked submit and you realize that you needed catalogs and order forms, please do not order them. It does not it, like place an order for them. It does not pay. You're paying a lot extra for shipping. What you want to do is as long as you have enough on hand for your next party, you just want to go back in there, add them to your order so that the next time you order, they're going to be there and ready for you. All right please do not order just business supplies. It is really expensive to do that. And you cannot order business supplies on your, on your customer facing website. All right. Oh, and I, oh, I sort of forgot. And sometimes in the business supply section, they might, court might put something in there that you're like, oh, sunglasses. All right. I want to order a couple or I want to order some for myself. They might put some, um, some PR gear in there, not always, but sometimes they do have stuff in there. So you do want to make sure that you check that out. All right, it, to save on shipping as well. We're talking a lot about saving on shipping. To save on shipping as well, you should have inventory on hand. Get the IAP. If you have not already, get the IAP. Sometimes they have special promotions on where the IAP might be like a $500 IP or a $1,000 IP, um, whatever. If you are able to choose it. Um, if not, that's okay. Your next few parties, what you want to do is a third of the profit from your parties. You might want to invest that back into having inventory on hand. What should you carry for inventory? Things that you, you show. If you show a rule of thumb, whatever you show, you're going to sell. So those are the things that you should have on hand. Um, so go back in your last three parties, um, check out what you've sold, check out the most popular items, and, um, and then you want to have those on hand. Um, maybe you only want to have two cents of the coochie cream, or like I said, then that's where it's going to great, be great to order six packs and, and trade with um, a fellow consultant for like um, two or three items, right? Two or three coochie creams. Um, all right. So like I said, um, a third of your profit should go back into, into your, um, to your inventory. Invest in the IAP. It's a fantastic deal. You get bulk products at a great discount that you pay back over five months. So in Canada, so what you would get on the regular IAP, the $1,300, um, $1,300, yeah, $1,300 IAP, they give you pre-selected best sellers. If you are only at a 30% buying discount, this bumps you up automatically to a 40% buying discount on future, on future orders. You pay $25 admi um, admi uh, administration fee, uh, plus the taxes and shipping, and then you only pay $520 in five installments. That's $104 in five monthly installments. That's interest-free interest-free. Banks don't do that. Pure Romance believes in you and they do that. Um, and that's, ac that's actually at a 60%, a higher than a 60% discount. All right. So we covered a lot. I'm sorry. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you learned a little bit about, about the COVID protocols. I did a party a couple months ago when we were actually able to go in and do parties. I did a couple in-house parties and these are the things that I thought of and I implemented, but a couple things I didn't and I thought of it afterwards. So um, these were like tried and true things that, that I did. Um, being in a taco center as well, we have to follow lots of protocols. So um, I was able to implement a little bit of that as well. So I hope you Got a little bit of information on that. If you have any questions, pop them in the chat um, or be on the Canadian board. I will answer them. Um, you can private message me as well. Chances are though, if you're thinking of them, somebody else is as well. So tag me in, in the group. And I hope you learned a little bit about smart ordering, not just ordering, smart ordering. If some of those numbers had you a little bit confused, talk to your sponsor, talk to your upline. Again, you can tag me in it and I will in it in a message on the group and I will be able to help you out. All right. So whether you're partying with masks on 
or you're partying with masks off, have a great time, have fun, be relaxed, follow everything that you need to follow to keep yourself and everybody safe. Party on everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us this weekend.